Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. I love doing DIYs, helping you get organized, declutter, and upcycle. Today is one of the DIYs that I always say I love, but today I am truly in love with this project. I was watching YouTube and I found a new channel called The Crafty DIY Guy. And the host's name is Jamie. He's a lot of fun. I really like him. And I found this apothecary DIY that he did. And I was literally so in love with it that I ordered the parts on Amazon that same day. And I ran to the Dollar Tree the very next day to get the supplies. So that's what we're going to do today. If you've not been to the Dollar Tree lately, they are upgrading their crafting section and they have gotten a lot of new supplies, so definitely check them out. But one of them that they have are these cute little balsa wood boxes. And I have passed by these several times, but Jamie took one of these boxes, pulled out the decorative drawer, and they have hearts, flowers, and butterflies, but he turned the drawer backwards. What a difference this makes visually. And he just put six of these together and turned them into an apothecary drawer set. Now I wanted one that was a little bit bigger. So I went on to Amazon, I found these cute little drawer pulls and I got 20 of them for $10. So this gave me an opportunity to make one for myself and I'm probably gonna make one as a gift. Now something I found is these boxes are all different sizes no matter how hard I tried to get them uniform at the store. I recommend assembling this upside down so the fronts are all going to be flush against the surface. I also got out a square but if you can find something just to make sure that they're all lined up it'll really make this project easier. I started out with a crazy glue gel but I found that because this is balsa wood the wood absorbed the glue and it didn't stick together so I switched over to basic hot glue. The only thing you'll want to know is you need to work fast with the hot glue, but I just put a little bit of pressure and this worked really well. Again, be mindful of your edges. It's better to have the inside a little bit askew than the outside edges, but I'll also show you what to do if your edges are a little rough after this. So one by one, I just kept assembling my square. Now I chose a three by three, but what's so much fun about this is you can make these individual and give them as gifts or have them as decorations around your home. You could make a long bar that goes across your desk. You can make them stair stepped. You can do any configuration that you like, which makes this a lot of fun and uniquely personal to what your style is. Now you can already see the back of this has a lot of unevenness, which is why I wanted to do this upside down so the front of my apothecary drawers are nice and flat. Once I get this last one in, I am ready for the next step already. So as you can see, it's beautiful on the front. The other sides are gonna be a little bit uneven. I'm not so worried about the back. And if there is an edge that's really off, you can get a nail file and easily file this down so it's flush. Then I got out my favorite Minwax stain, and this is in the color Jacobine. This was shown to me by Shannon of the Daily DIYer. I got out my trusty gloves, and I just used a paper towel, and I saturated this. It absorbed the stain really quickly, which was easy, and I did not do the inside. Now, because these were assembled with balsa wood, sometimes there's glue residue. Just file that off, and then you can restain it easily. Now I'm gonna put my little drawer inserts inside and stain them. Now you can paint this. Um, because it's wood, covering it with a contact paper might be a little bit more difficult, but you could certainly try that. Or you could decoupage it with any type of scrapbook paper that you like. Now I'm already thinking ahead to Christmas, don't hate me, but I'm already looking ahead to taking some scrapbook paper and putting this on the inside and then laying this out like a little Christmas tree to put ornaments or trinkets inside. But as I said, if you do one of these as an individual, they are the perfect size for tea bags, which would make such a sweet little gift along with a coffee cup. 
the hardware that I got from Amazon. The screws to attach the pull handles are too long for these drawers, so I'm just showing you that here. But I found that I could attach these with glue quite easily, and I used a glue gun. To simplify the assembly of this, I made a template. So I got out a piece of my cardstock, and I cut out a piece that's the exact same size as the drawer pull. I then measured to make sure that they were completely centered. I went an inch down and a half inch over on each side, and then I just traced around the handle. Once that was done, I put all of my inserts inside so that I could kind of go quickly on this, and I'm showing you an alternate here of using stickers. If you wanted to number these, that would be a fun way if you don't want to buy the hardware. Here's a preview of what's going to look like. I'm so excited about it. And I apologize for my lighting. The sun was facing the garage, which makes it brighter in here, and it makes my camera go wonky. So with my template, I cut out the space where the handle was going to go, and that way I could line it up, put my glue on, and set it straight down, and I would have a precision placement every single time. I could also take my X-Acto knife if there's a little bit of glue that squeezed out and I just cut it off or scrape it off. So I'm going to go ahead and apply all nine of my handles. This project was really quick, you guys. I think the whole thing with slowing down to film took me 45 minutes. The last little step I'm going to take is with that same cardstock, I'm cutting out the little inserts for the label on the hardware. And I really think this finishes it off so nicely and gives it a vintage antique look. And you guys, I think this is a really high-end piece. For me, with the hardware and the boxes, it was about $15, which I think definitely makes this project worthwhile. And here it is all finished. I know I always say this, but when I work on these pieces, I truly fall in love with them. And this one is no exception. So thank you, Jamie, at the Crafty DIY Guy channel. Go check him out. He has a lot of other great ideas, but this one by far is my favorite that he's come up with. And I want to make sure that he gets the credit he deserves because this was such a fun and beautiful project. I cannot wait to read your comments below. What do you think about this? Is this something that you would recreate? I definitely think this looks way higher end than just getting a couple of different things from the Dollar Tree and upcycling it. I'm so happy with this. I might go one bigger and do a four by four. I haven't quite decided yet, but if I do that, then I have to really decide how I want to use it. Yes, I like the visual of it, but you know I like making things that are going to be functional. If I do swap out my glass jars that I always use in the back, these would be perfect for those small bags that I always have, for the mini spools of ribbon, or even for washi tape. So leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're going to make one of these and what you would use it for. And one Make sure you're subscribed because I just got to finish doing my very first subscriber makeover and it was amazing. I had so much fun. So I've been working on that this whole week. I just finished editing it. I'm letting them take a look to make sure that it's up to their approval. And that's what's gonna be the next video that's posted. So please make sure you're subscribed so you get notified when that goes up. I appreciate you guys so much. Your comments, your support mean everything to me. I think I found a flow of doing videos every three days again. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that schedule. But I think it's working well enough that I can still get my jobs done for my organizing, but still get time to do a little bit of filming and editing. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.